So, I just use a universal, like, not really universal, it's come from a different GM car, at least available. Put a little piece of rubber there and a little piece of rubber in between to make it, you know, a little bit tighter in there. I gotta reposition these guys. Still gotta do the neutral safety switch, but I bent this in an S shape. This was already chewed up. I'm gonna probably just tape it or something, but, um, what else? I made this other line here using a piece of an old GM line along with a new fitting on the end. And it ends up being the reduced barrier hose. Actually, the one that I bought, it doesn't really fit right. Um, and I did that little tiny hose on that car at the bottom um, with the number six hose. But to be honest, this the after I like lubed it up a little bit, this went on much tighter. And it because I did once with the other with the other hose and it leaked. I just blew into it. And I can hear it blowing out. But I got my brackets in that hold this. This one was a little bit beat up, you know. I'm going to put something to protect it under here. I don't like that. I don't have it screwed in over here. But I got the condenser in now. Um, that's the, the top line. is the, the bottom line was already there, you know, with the new line that I put right there. And then this guy here, this is going to, I'm going to, you know, put a clamp on it and put it somewhere. Um, I got to make this, this, now that I have this set, I got to make a hose from goes to here to here. I probably got to bend that back a little bit. See how well that goes. Um, this guy here, you know, you have to kind of bend it out of the way to, to be able to, you know, get the angle right. So I, I bent it here, but it looks like I got to try to bend this end back a little bit. They have it going roughly around there, but I think it's it's sooner. Um, not only bent sooner, but not nearly as far, you know, because now this is almost like a like a 180 I'm doing here, which is a kind of a little weird. Um, so if you're trying to, yeah, this is almost like it's got to be at least half that, so I can maybe get away with a a 45 and another 45 here, you know, basically 90 degrees, which I could have just left it straight and done that. But I was just trying to make it, you know, like the original. And being that this is not the original bracket, even though I got my... It's not the bracket that I thought. You know, the guy gave me this bracket, which I didn't know I didn't have. So it actually supports the uh, the evaporator core. So that's a good thing, you know. So um, I think that's pretty good. And i got to put these guys, screw them back into their place. And um, so far, so good with that and then i can put together some of this other stuff this is missing the screw i, I gotta change the neutral safety switch and um i'm gonna use my other car for work tomorrow the uh the oldsmobile is not ready because that belt uh is not right it needs a much bigger um idler pulley so i found one from a, like a ford I gotta go pick it up at uh, AutoZone. I'm gonna try it, but they wanted this other car that I have, so I was gonna put that other car here and take that Oldsmobile, the the um, the Oldsmobile '98. But um, not now, since they want it. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna play with my belts because the the tensioner like wraps around like that. I don't understand how it's the same engine and has the same belt, but it's a different belt setup. You know, because um, I believe this one here. This is the same, this is the same size, uh, what do you call it, this pulley here, unless something I didn't realize, how one was bigger than the other, this one seemed to fit fine, and it, I believe it looked like, you know, the old one. I, I don't know what it is exactly that's uh, causing this, this problem. Um, I didn't really run this car that long, so I don't really know, but I don't know if that just, that bracket is just slightly different on these cars. And it causes everything to be in, and they save money by not putting a different belt. So they reconfigured where the uh, where where it went. That's like the only thing I can think of. Or maybe the power steering pump is slightly bigger on the other car, or smaller for that matter, or or you know one of these, you know. But I don't think I had a problem with this one. The other one, it's, it's this is like jumping. Du -du 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 -du. The tension is going, and that's why there was a bigger pulley on there. And it looks like a 90 millimeter, but they make a 95 millimeter. And they even listed on Rock Auto. 
And I think, you know, that's the things that get lost in translation. They just like throw a whole bunch at you and then you got to pick one. It's also possible that depending what, you know, alternator you have, um, you know, depicts that, you know, and wh which, which pull you end up having. It's, it's really hard to tell. And um, I just don't get it. But it's almost like they put more more time into these cars. Well, by 85, this car was a three-year car, and they just made some improvements. The 85 Oldsmobile 98, it's a one-year-only car. They started that body. It was new to that body. And, you know, that's basically it. You know, that was one year, and they were done. And they probably made it at the beginning of the run, and that was it And uh, of 85. So, you know, that's what I get for having a weird car. All right, I'm tired. I got to be um, about 60 miles from here tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. So I got to wake up around 4 and it's already almost 7 o'clock and I got to eat dinner. All right. Thanks for watching. One other video I wanted to make. That's the brass adapter in. It goes uh, 3 eighths to 3 quarter. Put the clamp on. That hose is just completely awesome. And then I have an adapter here that goes from 13 sixteenths to, I'm sorry, 13 sixteenths, uh, three quarter to five eighths. And I got the clamps on. That's about all I do with this. Oh, and I put a bracket on the uh, receiver dryer here. A little piece of rubber behind it because it wasn't that tight. So, not too much. I've done other things. I had to fix somebody else's car today, and basically while it was snowing. Change the radiator. And, um,. I, uh, I was really set up to do, um, another car today, and not really this, so that's about it, can't think of anything else, but yeah, I gotta start putting this shit together, and, um, I gotta get the fan in as well after I finish this AC hose, and the stuff back there, that's gotta go back there, and, uh, my phone is freezing up, so, alright, thanks for watching.